Give me your hand there, pal. And we're the best of allies maybe in the whole world. U.S. President Joe Biden meeting with British Prime Minister Keir Starmer at the White House Friday. The two discussing next steps in supporting Ukraine. We really need to continue to cooperate and uh, a lot we can talk about. The talk centering on whether to allow Western missiles to be used to hit targets in Russia. The missiles include long-range U.S. Army tactical missile systems and British Storm Shadows. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been pleading with allies for months to let Ukraine fire them deep into Russia to limit Moscow's ability to launch attacks. On Thursday, President Vladimir Putin said that the West would be directly fighting with Russia if the request was permitted. If this decision is made, it will mean nothing less than direct participation of NATO countries, the United States, and European countries in the war in Ukraine. This is their direct participation, and this, of course, significantly changes the very essence, the very nature of the conflict. According to the New York Times, citing European officials, the U.S. looks set to approve the use of long-range missiles on the condition that the weapons are not those provided by the United States. No official announcement on a decision is expected today. Meanwhile, Russia has expelled six British diplomats in Moscow, accusing them of spying and sabotage. The move seen as an apparent display of Kremlin anger over London's support for Kyiv. Starmer's government called the accusations baseless. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.